Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. Uh, this is the 16th part for React, Redux, and Saga tutorial series. And here we will learn that how we can add routing in our project and how we can make different pages for cart and uh, main page. So why we need a different page for cart and uh, uh, product listing page? So let's uh, just have a look on that uh, question first of all. So here you can see that we have a header and whenever we are just clicking on add to cart, then you can see that our uh, count in add to cart will actually increase it here that is fine there is no issue so let's say you want to just check out the detail that how many products you added in your bucket so for that time you have to click on uh, that icon and your count and then there should be a different page and that page will contain the list of uh, which product you added how many quantity and what are the total price and what is the total price of that uh, specific product and all right so cart page will contain these details because we cannot show uh, cart details here this is the product pages and here we are listing all, all projects not a uh, added to the cart uh, pages so that's why we need the uh, we need a different uh, page and now let's take a look on the points of this part first of all we have to install the react router dom and guys keep in mind in this tutorial we will add the routing in our product we will uh, project we will configure the routing properly uh, we will create a main page and cart page also but in this part I am not going to show the detail of added project on the cart page right uh, like uh, there should be a list of how many project I added quantity and price and all that we will show in the next part for a moment I will just create a cart page all right so first of all we will install the uh, react router dom then we will make a main and cart page then we will uh, uh, provide the links to the page so that we can uh, go backward and forward to these pages and we will add some style to the header and logo and at last we will cover some interview questions also so now let's start with the first point and uh, let's open terminal so that we can install a npm package so let's simply put here uh, npm i that means installed react router dom so if you want to just uh, take a deep look on that reactor router dome so this is the official website uh, this is actually uh, you can say that very integral part of uh, react js whenever you will make any project you have to install this react router library and you have to just set up the different different pages and all right so this is also important uh, if you want to just go through with these documentation that is uh, also helpful for your uh, react js knowledge and uh, interview and all right so how you can check that your uh, reactor dom or react router dom is installed in your uh, project so for that let's open here package.json and here you can see that react router dom is actually installed in our project that's fine so now the next step is let's open uh, we don't need these uh, uh, node model to check so now let's open the index.js and just create a wrapper of uh, react uh, react browser to your uh, application right so let me just uh, simply import it first import something from react router dom and let's uh, import a browser route and there should be a wrapper around your application for react router browser and after that if you will check then it will still working fine there should be no any uh, there should not be any issue so this is still working fine okay so now what we need to do here just go to the app.js and uh, we have to just use your routes and uh, route so I will tell you what is the use of them so let's import from and you can simply put here react router dom let's import here two things first one is uh it should be routes yeah and second is uh route right so uh let's say you want to make five or six routes so all of them should be uh wrapped inside the this uh, routes property so what do we need to do just create a routes wrapper first and inside it let's define here route and uh, this can be a self-closing tag and uh, here you can just provide the path 
on which path you want to open which element so let's say on a home i want to open the uh, main component right so like this and now you will find that uh, okay that was the cart page uh, yeah because why this page was showing because before making this part i was uh, playing with the code for cart and uh, reactor reactor of home that's why so let's start with the home so now you can see that page is still visible there is a no issue so there should be one more route for cart so path should be like cart right and for that we need a one more component so in the component let's create a one more file which is cart.js and uh, here we can just create our we can uh, import even we don't need to import something we can just simply create a constant cart and it could be a arrow function let's return here something and uh, it could be a div and uh, inside it what we can even you can see that if you want to just copy any other uh, component then copy and paste there and it, it can save your time also so in cart for a moment i am just putting here h1 tag and let's put there let's say cart page or something and now just export it export default cart right and uh, now let's uh, use it inside the uh, cart root so let me just import it cart and this is automatically imported from there so if i just want to access this page i can directly access on a cart and here you can see that we can we are able to see the cart page all right so that is fine but how we can just move from uh, uh, this link to the cart page now the question is that so for that let's go to the header and uh, let's import here links first right outside this div i am just creating a wrapper of link like this paste this div again here you can put here two two means on which what link we want to open we want to open here cart right so let's say we are on the home and uh, let's say i just added some product in our cart and whenever i was just clicking over there you can see that i can jump on the cart page but how i can go back now the question is that right so for that what you can do that uh, just simply use this link in a cart page also so let's take a link there and uh, just put here go to product list page or just write that is right and uh, we can simply provide the path of like two because we want to on, we want to go on a route and now it should work so if i just click on the go to product i can go back if i just click over there then i can go to the cart page so one more thing that we can do that we can make a logo there so that uh, if i just click on the logo i i should redirect it to the uh, route page so let's get back to the header now and uh, let's create a h1 tag and i can just simply put there ecom like this and uh, i can also add a class which is let's say class name is logo and outside this i can also add a link there and uh, now on the link let's provide a uh, two props and that will be root okay so after that you will find that uh CSS is we have to add some CSS so just put here float left margin 0 padding 20 pixel and that's all and now we can just copy this element go to the app dot CSS and we can just simply add our dot logo class directly there let's just simply put that dot logo class logo 
and uh, now if I just click over there you can see that I can go to the home on the click of cart detail I'm on a cart page if I just click on the ecom logo that it will re redirect it to the home page so that's fine uh, everything is working here now let's talk about interview question the interview question is so will redux work with the different pages also or it will work only single page see so you, here you can see that uh, I just added some products in our cart and if I just click on that page so there is a cart page right so will it work uh, the data will work with the cart page also because now we are on the different route the answer is yes Redux will work in a complete project you are using routing or something it will definitely work there is a no issue but if you will refresh your page that time your Redux data will be flushed from here right so that's all for this part and please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video thank you so much for watching this video